Okay, I've been asked a few times how I get the flyovers at the start of the videos on the motorbike tours and actually it's a pretty easy thing to do. A few steps involved, but it's actually much easier to show you on a video than it is to try and put it in text. So um, apologies for all those that are really not into the video editing, just watch um, the movies, just skip past this bit and come back to a movie in a while. But for those of you who want to get into it yourself, you know, it's good to do, have a go. It's um, nice and easy and I'll show you how it's done. Um, first thing, a little bit of setting up required because Garmin Basecamp doesn't automatically launch into Google Earth Pro and you need to trick it into doing so. It launches into Google Earth. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to rename Google Earth Pro into Google Earth. So on a Mac, it tricks Google Earth Pro into launching. Pretty easy to do. If you just go to your uh, applications and uh, there we go, just look for Google Earth Pro where we, it'll be Google Earth Pro when it's installed. You can install Google Earth and Google Earth Pro at the same time. I've been uninstalled Google Earth Pro, uh, Google Earth, so I don't need it. Um, just right click and then show package contents. And what that does is really show you the makeup of the of the files. Um, and then in contents Mac OS, just here you'll see that one Google Earth. Originally that was named Google Earth Pro. Simply rename it to Google Earth and it should trick Garmin Basecamp into launching it when it works. It certainly works on mine and it's um, sort of a fairly well-known trick I found on the uh, forums. So from that point on, you're then ready to set up your route in Garmin Basecamp, which is for all of the Garmin SatNav. You don't need a Garmin SatNav, but you do if you want detailed maps on this system. Um, but for the benefit of a flyover, you could actually just use the base map. So you're not actually tied to a Garmin system to use this. Um, but I've put a very simple route in here for a trip we did out on the, uh, the bike where well, we did half the trip if I'm honest because I remembered it was my wedding anniversary halfway around so we had to cut off. But if we look at the, um, the route you've got there we can select various routes. But actually if I just go to view and then view current map area in Google Earth what it'll do it'll launch Google Earth Pro and it'll actually transfer all of those waypoints and routes into Google Earth and nicely highlights them for you. I won't show you how to because it's pretty easy to figure out yourself but you can change the colour of all the routes and maps and waypoints but the one thing you don't want really when you're actually filming the um, route itself on the fly of it, you really don't want all of these waypoints and bits and pieces showing because it doesn't really add very much. So what you can do up here on the left hand side, go into base camp, you just untick waypoints and it'll disappear. Easy as that. Um, and actually you can even choose which of the two routes you want to show. So for the benefit of this one, we'll just do this route. So what I'm gonna do from this point is actually you just record a tour. And to record a tour before you turn it into a movie, it's this little icon here. And you see this little box actually pops up down here. So all I've got to do now is um, I just zoom in on where I want it to start. So let's just start it at the uh, start of the route. Let's go for a nice big zoom in quite close to my house, in fact from my house. See how close I live to Birmingham Airport there? So all you've got to do is, you that's the start of the route and we want to, we want to fly over to the end of the route. So I'm just going to show you a really quick and easy way to do this. So you just click record the tour, give it four or five seconds to just intro the video and start recording the tour. The re main reason for that is it gives you time to edit it out afterwards. And all I've got to do then is just go to the, um, the waypoints and you just pick the the far end, which is the hillside cafe Hungry Hogs. So if I click that, it flies out. You double click it, sorry, not click it, and then flies back in again. Um, because I clicked it once, it's uh, put that in there. I'm not sure if that will record on the final tour or not, we'll see. I've done it, I've never done that before. But that's it, you've now recorded the tour, so you just click stop again. And I can now, you will see it automatically starts to play back the tour by itself. Um, I probably didn't get going on this till about 15 seconds in because of my nuttering. You'll, you'll see it just lift up and, and zoom itself away in a second. And that effectively is the flyover done. Um, you can do, uh, actually see it did, it did pop up the uh, little box there. Um, and that's it, I'll close that myself. But what you can do then, if you then save this, and you just save it as uh, let's call it movie tour. Keep it nice and easy, and then OK. And you see it's got movie tour here. Now, if I now go to um, tools, uh, oh, hang on, I always forget this. You have to close this one down before you let it go, before it will let you access the movie maker. So if I now go to movie maker, 
it brings you up this and it's automatically put in there. I want to create the movie from the save tool, which is the movie tool I've just done. I want to record it in high definition, that's the highest definition you can go on Google Earth Pro. Um, choose 60 frames a second. For some bizarre reason it then asks you to choose it again, I believe, in the next one. Um, you can choose your location and where you want to save it, that's fine for me. You just click, maybe I've already got one saved, practice one. See, now it pulls it up again. You can, if you want, select all the very complicated stuff. If you're putting it into um, Final Cut Pro, I would select, I would recommend Apple ProRes, but for benefit of this, we'll just click video. You can then set how many frames per second. I would recommend 60, because that allows you to slow it down to half speed and still get 30 frames a second, which is um, TV quality. And, and then select medium high best as for the quality. I would always select best, but I'll leave it at medium just for the benefit of the speed, really. And then click OK. And all it's going to do now is it's now going to um, record the movie. And that'll take a, a little bit of time to do. Um, because what it does, it actually goes through and renders the, the entire length of that movie at 60 frames a second in high definition. So that'll probably take 10 minutes or so. So I will be coming back to you shortly. So here you are, as promised, the uh, movie's rendered. Took about a couple of, just a couple of minutes to do that. And uh, it's really, as I said before, you've got a huge pause now here because that's just what I recorded on the tour. I can just trim this bit out, but I've left it here. Just give me something to talk over. You can also make it, you can have multiple waypoints along the route. You just click each one in turn. It will actually swing between them. And here you go, it just swings out. Even though I clicked that single one and popped up the info box, hasn't shown. And you have your very simple flyover, so enjoy.